you have toiled for days, weeks, or maybe months to create your design. Finally, you want to produce your output. You want to produce layouts. You want to produce uh, printouts uh, that will be taken as the final design. One thing that will set you apart from the average user or designer is good output. And good output can be enhanced through adding grids with coordinate information. That is Eastings and Northings information. And what you see here on the screen is an attempt to create those uh, reads which have the Northings and Eastings um, coordinate system. Or if In the next few minutes, I'll take you through step by step the process of creating such grids and creating such Northing and Easting labels. Stay focused to the end of this video to learn this important tip. So let me go to the model. I will delete these grids. Uh, this was just an attempt to create what we are talking about. I will select similar and delete. I will also delete these labels. And what we'll do is to create a polyline. Let's create a polyline that goes perpendicular. Yeah, this point slash this edge here. Let me prolong it a bit. Right? And what we want to do again is to create another polyline. So I'll click on PL, enter, and create a, another polyline that is almost at the edge of this other side. Right? So these two, I want them in the color of a, of a grid, the normal color or the true color that we usually use as engineers of a grid probably a faint gray color so i'll go to properties and i'll assign a color i'll pick the color that's a gray color so i want these grids to be at 50 meter intervals so i'll uh, be offsetting this grid 50 meters intervals towards the right and this other grid 50 meters towards the top. So let me start with this uh, vertical one. I'll click offset and hit enter, OF, enter. Then my offset distance is 50 meters. So I just click enter, populated there. I click enter and then I select the side. So I pick and then I select the side. I pick this. I repeat that until I get to the end of the view frame. That's okay. Let's also go up with this one. We have set 50, 50 at top. Okay, so the next thing is to create that nothing and easting label. That is a label that we want to come and put here on these intersections of the grids. All right, so how to do that is the tricky part, but stay here with me to learn that tip. So we open up the tool space, we toggle it on, and if you are the prospector, you switch to the settings tab. And here at the settings tab, you will and notice there's a multi-purpose styles. There's some label styles here. Uh, multi-purpose styles here at the general tab. Here at the general, you expand and then you go to uh, multi-purpose styles. Give the multi styles, go to label styles. Realize there's a note, there's a note um, style. You can add a note. And this is where we are going to create our coordinate labels from. So we'll create our Eastings 
and our nothings from this. So the east things will probably be aligned to this vertical line. So they'll be upright, while the nothings will be aligned to, to the horizontal line. This is because uh, the horizontal grids represent the, the nothings. And, and the vertical grids represent the eastings. So you go as you go east, those are eastings. As you go north or south, those are nothings. All right. So how do we prepare those uh, labels for the eastings and nothings? Let's go to the note here. Let's right click and create a new note. And we'll call it coordinates. Sample. Then I'll go to the layout tab. This is where I'll put, I'll create the eastings and the northings. So remember the eastings are on the vertical grid while the northings are on the horizontal grid. So let me first start with the eastings. So the eastings are on the vertical grid. And therefore here are the text. Here are the text. They'll be vertical. Orientation or rotation angle will be 90. So let's just leave the, the text height at, um, at default, 3 millimeters. And then here I don't want to see this um, border. I don't want to see this border. So for the border visibility, let's put it to false. And then here there's something that is really uh, important. The anchor point and the attachment point. So here at the anchor point, we are attaching to the feature. We are attaching to this intersection. That is the feature. And the anchor point of this <coughs> uh, feature will be the top right. All right? So top right, that will be the anchor point. And then there's an attachment um, parameter here. So this is all about this text. This text has a middle center. Middle center is this part. It has all these other parts. It has a top left. It has a top left here. It has a, a top center. Top center is here. Middle left. Middle left is here. Uh, bottom left is here. So what we are looking at or what we are looking for is to attach this text here at the point of it, um, bottom left, this point here. So we pick bottom left, all right? So now this, what we have here is the easting. So what we, we are going to do is to go to the contents of this text so that we make sure we have the eastings. Here you can see there are nothings, there are eastings you can add. So let me pick on the eastings. There are various properties that you can add here. So let me pick on the eastings. We want the eastings. And the precision that we want them in is probably two decimal points. Let's go with two decimal points for demonstration. And if you want to change anything else, if you want to change the format, the text format, you can change it to a different text format, the font. Here are some fonts that you can use. So let's go with the default first. If you want to change it later, you can come and change it. So let's go back to the properties tab. And here let's add the, let's highlight this first and let's add the easting as the parameter we are. Right? There we go. You can see what's happening there. Uh, just shows you it is to precision of two decimal points here, round normal. So these parameters here, these abbreviations here, just represent or uh, stand for what is happening on the left here. So once we are okay with that, we, we click okay. So here, it's interesting. We want to add the nothing text. We want to add the nothing text. So I will add another text. So 
I will add here a text. So here we have the first text, which was the easting, and now we have another text here, which will be our nothing. All right? So we go to the second text here. And now for the second text, it will be attached to this fe feature here. The feature, the anchor point will be the top left. That's okay. And then the label will be also attached. Or no, the anchor point will be the bottom right. Because bottom right of this feature. Bottom right. Then we can always um, change this. Do not worry about this. We can always change this if we create our coordinate and we realize it is not uh, aligning with what we are trying to do. So the attachment point of the label will be the top left side of the label. Top left. You see, forms that perpendicular um that perpendicular alignment so where you, whereby you have your eastings here and your northings here and the attachment point which is the intersection here here it is aligning properly with what we envision so here for the label text this is what i want to change again to now it the nothing we already created the easting now we want to create the nothing so the precision again let's put it to 0 0.01 up to decimal points. We did not change the text format, so we don't need to go there to the format um, tab. So everything is set up. We add it to the other side and we click OK. Here in the preview, we can see what is happening. See the nothing, the eastings, I mean, and you can see the nothings. All right. Now we have our recording a sample. I will just apply and click OK. Then I will close or, or I will toggle off the toolspace and go to the annotate tab. This is where I want to add the labels from. Here I can see notes down here or I can just click on this point here and here I can pick the note. And here I want to change it coordinates that we've just created right now. I don't want to place a, a marker style because we already have an intersection that we can place it at. So my only job is to add. Click on add. Here you can see I am snapping. There you can see the coordinates are snapping really well. So we focus with the with the ones which are within the within the view frame. This cyan view frame here. Sorry. So what is also interesting is that if you take these coordinates, for example, and you copy them, copy them to this other section here, you notice that they will update. So this is 1268. You can see this is 1318. So it has added the 50 offset. And we've just copied. We've not edited this text. We've just copied. So this is also dynamic. So if you copy it, it just comes with a proper coordinate. So we continue copying. Pick the place it there you can use the can use the array command to do this for you so that you have faster let's just do it it's slowly going on
So once you're through, just escape. And now, it's time to clean up this grid so that we only have the grid within the view. Right? How do we do that? We can use the trim command. Just use the trim command. Trim. The stream what is outside. Them one by one. Whatever is outside of the U frame, you can trim it off. Clean it up once. So now we can go back to the layout to see what is happening. Here, you can see the grids. You can see the labels well set out. And this is something now that you can print. Once you have everything ready, you can now, you can now print. And this would be very easy for anyone who's reading this drawing to know this is the location of this drawing. Anyone who reads the drawing can see this is in terms of this particular located. So that is pretty simple as you've seen. So um, if you like this video, remember to sh click uh, uh, to like it, to share with other people and to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video where I'll be showing you how to customize your own title blocks and to include them as templates in your plan and production.